Good morning. Welcome to the Monday Morning Minute. We just got back from Sheffield, Alabama late last night, and we had a great time. Uh, Jesus spoke into our hearts and into our lives. One of the things that I have been working through, and, and we started to preach this in Sheffield, is I have been thinking about what the Father has done in the New Covenant Hour. And I want to share with you this morning Hebrews chapter 12, starting in verse 18. You have not come to a mountain that can be touched and that is burning with fire, to darkness, gloom, and storm, to a trumpet blast, or to such a voice speaking that those who heard it begged that no further word be spoken to them, because they could not bear what was commanded. Even if an animal touches the mountain, it must be stoned. The sight was so terrifying for Moses that it said, I am trembling with fear. See, in the Old Testament, in the Old Covenant hour, God comes in Exodus and God gives the law to the Israelites. And it is a powerful scene because God comes on Mount Sinai with smoke and lightning and fire. And it looked like the whole uh, mountain was on fire. And it says the Israelites trembled in fear. But we begin to understand that that was, that was the hour or that is how the old covenant or the law was revealed to the Israelites. But we know that we do not live in an old covenant hour. But through the blood of Jesus, we have come into a new covenant hour. And in that new covenant hour, this is what it looks like. But you have come to Mount Zion, to the heavenly Jerusalem, the city of the living God. You have come to thousands upon thousands of angels and joyfully assembling to the church of the firstborn, whose names are written in heaven. You have come to God, the judge of all men, to the spirits of righteous men made perfect, to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood that speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. Oh, this week, as you go through your week, I want to remind you that God is not against you. You do not live in the old covenant. We do not have to fear him. We have come into a new covenant hour. We have come into a new deal. We have come to Mount Zion. And what a picture of what that looks like. So I want to encourage you this week as you go through your week. Remember, you live in a new covenant hour. You're living in the kingdom. As a matter of fact, Jesus says, you are the kingdom. Be encouraged this week until we see you again.